Hey everybody and welcome to another lesson of physical education brought straight into your home. Today we are still working on improving the underhand roll and we're going to work on an activity called bocce ball. Bocce ball. Bocce ball is a real game. It's like a real sport. You can buy a bocce ball set at a sporting goods store or at Target or on Amazon and you can play bocce ball in your backyard. We're going to play bocce ball in the comfort of our own homes. And the first thing that you need when you play bocce ball or do any of our activities is a safe space. Make sure you have nothing that will hurt you, nothing that will fall and break. Make sure you're extremely safe during all of our PE lessons. To play our game of bocce ball today, you will need some equipment. You will need first and foremost a partner to do this activity with. You will need a rolling object for each partner. Preferably that object will be the same. Today I'm going to use um, two pairs of socks. This is my son's reddish maroon socks and these are his navy socks and I rolled them up into a ball. If you have um, something else that's soft and can roll you could use that. A tennis ball might not work for this activity because it will roll too far and you want your rolling object to stop. You'll also want a target object. So I have my two rolling objects and I'm gonna have a target object. For me, it's this stuffed animal. Stuffed animals make really good target objects. To be a successful underhand roller, there's uh, six things that you wanna do. It's a lot of cues. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to face your target. The second thing you're going to hold your object, your rolling object in your main hand. My opposite, opposite foot step, steps. My arm swings like a pendulum. I release the object towards my front foot. And when I'm done, I point at my target. That will result in a straighter, more accurate roll. The game of bocce ball involves accuracy. And, and rolling your, your rolling object straight and involves the use of force. You wanna choose how hard you roll your object. I'm gonna go find a partner and then I'll be back to show you and explain the game of bocce ball. Hey everybody, we're back. I have found my partner. My partner is my niece, Rhea. Hi. And we are gonna show you how to do the game of bocce ball. I have, of course, my two objects, my son's socks, <laughs> and I have this lion, the stuffed animal lion, and we're gonna find our safe space. We're gonna back up. We're gonna go kind of far away from you, and we're gonna stand side by side. My niece, Rhea, is gonna underhand toss our target object out, and it's in, in space, and then we each get one of these rolling socks, and I'm gonna go first since she tossed the lion, and my goal is to get it as close as possible to the lion. I'm facing my target, my left foot steps, I'm swinging low, releasing low, just past my front foot, and I'm gonna roll it, and oh, a little bit too much force, but it's kinda close. My niece goes next, she rolls it, Ooh. and the problem with the sock, the sock was not perfectly spherical. And then if we're not sure, we're gonna measure with our feet. So I'm gonna take um, the back of my foot and touch the sock. We've got one, two, three steps away for my niece Rhea, and Mr. Kelder is one and a half steps away. Since I'm a little bit closer, I get one point. And instead of getting too excited, I say, nice job, Rhea, good try. <laughs> and we try it again. We get back to our space. The score is one nothing. This time I start, and I take the lion, and I toss the lion out into space and then my niece goes first. She rolls her object. She wants to use the right amount of force. Ooh, gorgeous, right next to the line. And I step and I roll, and oh, a little bit too far, if you can see. I think you can see. We don't have to use our feet to measure because it's so obvious that Rhea clobbered me in this, <laughs> this one, and, and we tied 1-1. One, one. We're gonna keep playing, taking turns back and forth maybe tossing our stuffed animal farther and farther away. If you wanna use more socks, you can use more socks and, and you could each have like three socks and three turns each to roll towards your target. This activity is called bocce ball. It's a real activity. 
I hope you enjoy playing bocce ball. I hope you stay safe. And I can't wait to see you again. Any last words? Nope. Take care, guys. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.